in his own words. My experience at McClymouth High was a fantastic. I mean, McClymouth has always been known as a school of champions. Uh, uh, when I got there as a 10th grader, uh, I was good enough to advance to the, the varsity uh, track and field relay team. Uh, McClymouth has produced uh, numerous of great athletes, Bill Russell, Joe Ellis. I mean, the names and names just go on and on and on. And uh, academics also. We were you had to have grades in order to compete. That was established at McClymouth High School, and, you know, which is being up upheld now throughout high schools. You, in order to compete at the high school level, you must you know, have a, a certain grade average to compete as an athlete. But uh, McClymouth High School provided me with an educational background and a great uh, track and field career. When I crossed the finish line in 1968 uh, in the Mexico City Olympics, I had beat those other nine great sprinters who were just as equal to my, had my speed. Uh, that was a super feeling. Uh, to be the fastest human in the world, to be number one, that is only a gift from God. And what man wouldn't want to have that? Well, what I've been doing for the last 40 years is I've traveled throughout the world. I've did over a thousand camps that, that basically dealing with youth. Uh, I've raised, helped raise funds throughout the United States and throughout the world in terms of helping youth, uh, helping uh, battered women, helping people, period. Uh, so <clears throat> I'm still living, my work is continuing. Uh, I've just co completed my uh, biography. Uh, it's entitled Five Ring Circus and I, I feel that it would be the best selling sports book in the last 30 years because it's a, a tell-all book. I'm telling it. Jim Hines, the 1968 Olympic 100 meter champion who later went on to be an FL wide receiver, has died at the age of 76. USA Track and Field announced that Jim died Saturday. No cause of death was provided. Born in Arkansas and raised Oakland, California, Jim took his talent to Texas Southern University where he quickly rose up the ranks. Jim won the 100 at the 1968 Summer Games in Mexico City in a world record time of 9.95 seconds, becoming the fastest sprinter to run the race in less than 10 seconds. He also helped the four times 100 relay to a gold medal. Jim's world mark in the 100 meters stood for 15 years before it was broken by Calvin Smith. The current record is held by USA in Bolt, the Jamaican sensation who ran 9.58 seconds at the 2009 World Championships in Berlin. After his track career, Jim's, uh, Jim suited up for the Miami Dolphins and the Kansas City Chiefs. He had two catches for 23 yards for Miami in 1969, along with one kick return for 2022 yards. Following his playing career, Jim worked with inner city youth in Houston, according to World Athletics. He was inducted into the National Track and Field Hall of Fame in 1979. May his soul rest in peace and thank you so much.